with this diagram? That is a recession. There's no inflation here. Can you see? Stagflation requires inflation to happen. But what's happening here? A, this is my P naught, you know? It appears that prices fell. Cannot. So this is a common mistake. Uh. When you are talking about stagflation, there is a trick to ensuring that you still end up drawing these things, but do not inevitably show a fall in price, which is the case here. So this is wrong because GPL should not fall. It is stagflation. So how do you avoid showing a case where GPL falls? Make sure AD does not start from vertical section. The vertical part of LRES. Because if it starts from the vertical section, well, there's a good chance your diagram is wrong. Okay. Questions? So this is how I'll do it. AD falls, AD not, AD one, okay. So this is uh, just make sure your final price is higher than P not, so you can show this. AS not, AS one. Okay, P1, P0, Y1, Y0. This is okay. This is good. Right. Okay. So these are the causes of stagflation. And uh, why do I want to spend some time talking about stagflation? Because it is very relevant to our times. You look at some events they can put into your preamble. COVID. Okay. COVID will lead to both outcomes. I think I talked about this recently. Okay. <laughs> A fall in X could be because of lower tourism, because of border closures. Okay. Then a fall in SRAS could be because of higher wage push inflation because you lose your foreign labor. Or higher price of imports because of supply chain disruptions. Okay. You don't bring in COVID if they talk about war in Ukraine, but that also causes cost push inflation. Energy prices go up. Hmm? So stagflation, these are the causes. Okay. I'll move on to discuss the consequences. Is it too fast? No. It's a bit of recap lah, because we did this about uh, two months ago.